I'm at the corner of Pacific and Franklin. I have a possible 283 east side of Pacific, black SUV. Copy that. Hey buddy, wake up. You okay? Yeah. See what this is. I'm gonna get some help. Come right back, you know.
You know we could have done this online, right? Yeah, I like to meet face to face, get a handle on who I'm dealing with. So you got three million of these? Yeah, department store security is a bag joke, so. You hacked it yourself? I mean, yeah, it was mostly me. Do I get to meet your partners? Maybe. Let's see the cash. Deals off. Wait, what the fuck? Let me see that. Sorry, gotta run. You've seen the numbers, man. We gotta do this. Is that so? You've been asking for this meeting for weeks. I go through all this trouble and you bail? No. Now, I showed you the data, man. Now give me the cash. It doesn't work like that. Sit the fuck down. Do you know what Occam's razor is? Fuck you! The money. Now. It's a philosophical idea. The simplest answer is by far the most likely. It's a nice gun. H and K, UPS, chambered in 45. Austrian. Expensive. Rare. And what's more likely? A small-time hacker working out of a dilapidated warehouse has four grand and some serious gun-running connections? Or you ordered an airsoft replica off Amazon for 50 bucks? I'm gonna do you a real big favor and forget you pointed that gun at me. Don't make me regret it. Special Agent Corbin, I'm Samantha Veer. I'm supposed to escort you to the scene. Do you have ID, Agent Vera? Yeah. Um... <clears throat> well, let's go. Right. Let's. Can I just say, Agent Corbin, I'm really sorry about Francesco. I know he was your boss. No. Excuse me? Your seatbelt, Agent Vera, put it on. Oh. How long have you been with us? Uh, well, I wish I could still use that whole it's my first day excuse, but it's getting kind of old. Almost a year. And you? And me what? How long have you been with the Bureau? Nine years. How long did you know Francesco? Nine years. What'd they tell you? Um, Francesco had a heart attack on the way to work and was pronounced dead on scene by paramedics. What was he carrying? Makes you think he was carrying something. <laughs> they took you out of an undercover operation to ID a body? I mean, if we're running red lights on the way to a heart attack, there must be something else in play. Francesco I may have had a package. That's what we're there to find out. Copy that. What'd you do before you joined us, Special Agent Vera? I was with the Secret Service. Uniform division, someone thought I was big enough to make a good shield. So why'd you transfer? My dad was with the Secret Service for 20 years and I watched the Dowd eat him up. What 
Toronto. Thought about what the bad guys are. The way politics are going these days, I was gonna have to take a bullet for some sexist asshole. FBI, cybercrime, it's the future, right? As opposed to... Cybercrime's about data, and data doesn't lie. I think I knew your father. I know you did. He told me about you. We're here. I'm gonna have to ask you folks to step back. This is a crime scene. I'm Special Agent Corbin. This is Agent Vera, FBI. This is an NYPD crime scene, but I'll let you talk to my supervisor. The deceased was an agent of ours. We're here to secure his belongings. Well, in that case, you're out of luck. Somebody already stole his belongings. Oh, that changes things. How so? It's not a federal crime scene. I'm gonna have to ask you to step back. Special Agent Corbin? Yes? They're asking for you in the van. What van? Agent Corbin, Michael Gates, Homeland Security. This is Mr. Blake. He's observing from another agency. You guys got here quick. Time is of the essence, as I'm sure you know. What else do we know? We understand the deceased was a federal agent, one of yours. Agent Francesco is head of Cybercrimes Unit. Any idea what happened? No blood, no obvious trauma. Could be a heart attack. Why are you here? Excuse me? I'm here because my boss is lying dead in the street. Who pressed a panic button and got a mobile command post set up in under an hour? It's a good question. Do you know what Francesco was working on? I can't tell you that. Because you don't know. How do you know that? Because I told him not to tell anyone. Agent Francesco was carrying a package. It seems to be missing. What would this package contain? Something that needs to be found. That's all I can tell you right now. I know you work in politics and your bosses are allergic to anything they might have to deny in front of a Senate inquiry, but I need to know what it was so I can work out who took it and how to find them. Have you ever heard of Brooklyn Tide? No. It's an anarchist hacker group that was originally formed to monitor government wiretapping. It seems that in the last year they've metastasized into something much more radical. You think they're involved? We've been monitoring them as a potential threat for some time. The past few weeks, the chatter's been off the charts. And today, total silence. A communication blackout one hour before Francesco went down. Could be a coincidence. We're hoping for the best but we're preparing for the worst. What Francesco have on him that these people wanted? Something we can't afford to lose. Any more than that. We're not playing politics, Agent Corbin. I'd need direct authorization from the president in order to tell you what Agent Francesco was carrying. We're working on it. In the meantime, just know that it must be found. Can you tell me what size it was? Was it a briefcase? It's digital. So something small, like a... Thumb drive? Yes. And this could still be a random robbery? Which is why there aren't roadblocks in a sky full of helicopters. Can't have people asking questions. This has to be handled quietly. If this was a targeted operation, they have to authenticate what they've taken. We're monitoring all data locations, public and private, within 50 miles. Take this. It's secure. We can monitor your position and give you information as you need it. Watch your six, Corbin. We already lost one agent today. We're leaving? Yes. What did they say? Do you live around here? Yes. Say you need to use the internet, but you knew it was being monitored. Where would you go? 
I go to a cafe, they all have Wi-Fi and they're anonymous. Then walking distance is the same. Cafe big enough to hide in with multiple exits. Uh, definitely Cafe Mongoose. Are we getting coffee? I guess so. So do I get to know what's going on here? Certain government agencies have lost something important and we're gonna get it back. What did they lose? They won't tell us. Francesco had it on him when he left this morning. No, he doesn't. So someone killed him for it. Possibility. What else did they tell you? What's your security clearance? Three. Almost. Uh, three and a half. They have half levels of security clearance now? Four. I have a level four security clearance. Is this going to be like training day? You think I'm going to trick you into smoking crack then get you to help me rob a drug dealer? No, I mean, is this a test? Yes, a test. It's a problem with having so many federal agencies. Jurisdiction gives the game away. Secret Service, CIA, State Department, even the DOE have their own people. There's one government agency that can't operate on U.S. soil without congressional approval. The Pentagon. The Pentagon doesn't solve crimes or collect secrets. They fight wars. So it's a weapon. It's a weapon made of code? And if they knew to steal it, we have to assume they know how to use it or intend to sell it to someone who will. Looks like we were right. Drive's here. If any place to start World War III, how do you want to do this? Follow my lead. What can I get you? Coffee. Black. Sure. Who are we looking for? Something out of place. I'm going to get their attention. Watch and see if anyone doesn't look up. Federal agents, I need you to stop what you're doing right now. Someone who was just here on a laptop. I need a description. Ask the girl at the counter. Shit, Corbin. Shit. Which way? If she had a car, it would have been waiting. Subway's too far away. The shuttle. That was really great what you did in there. It was procedure. No procedure I've ever read. It's in there, trust me. You know all the rules? We're agents of the United States government. We enforce laws. We don't get to make things up as we go along. Like Agent Clay? You don't know anything about Jonathan Clay. We did a case study on him in the academy. Most decorated agent in the bureau until he turned. He wasn't a traitor. He was a good man trying to do the right thing. 
textbook says otherwise. Clay never saved the textbook's life. Shall we grab her? No. She's just a courier. I'm gonna find out who she gives the drive to. Protocol? Yes. How did Clay save your life? It's not important. I'd like to know. We were on a raid, an all Russian crew. I got distracted and the suspect got the drop on me. What do you do? Jumped in front of it, took two in the vest, spun around, shot the guy right in the face. So he was good? Depends on what you mean by good, but yeah, he was the best I ever worked with. And would you have done the same, I mean, as Clay did? I asked myself that a lot. And? If it was me, probably would have stood there with a dumb look on my face and watched him die. Remind me not to piss off any Russians. We're not partners. We are today. Where are you? We are watching. Get me out of here. This is not part of the plan. It is under control. It's under control? I have two federal agents chasing after me. Send someone to pick up this thing or I'm gonna drive it down a storm drain. The FBI has rules they must abide what by. What is that supposed to mean? We do not. If you fail, the law will be the least of your problems. Then get me out of here! The next building on the right. Wait by the door. She's gone into that building. No, she's waiting in the entrance. Cross the street and walk past her. Tell me if she's gone inside. Hey, put your comms in. Wait. Hurry! Do you ever go to visit him? In prison, I mean? Visit who? Clay. Wait. They're here. No. Any more personal questions, or can we go save the world? Ready when you are. I'm going! Oh, shit, she's gone inside. Go around, there's gotta be a way through. She has to be, get to the station, I'll try from this side. Federal agents, open the door.
Where are you? There's a tunnel leading to 545. She's making for the front door. I'm on it. What's your position? At the main entrance covered. Do you have visual? Nothing. Where are you? I'm by the front door. I just came out of it. Damn. Where is she? There. Stay here, wait for the next one. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna stop that train. This is Agent Jonathan Corbin, authorization 78786. I need you to cut power to grid 82, all the high voltage. I love backup power. No, you need to do what I'm telling you or you lose your job. Throw the switch or go to prison. Attention, due to a power outage, this train is being held here until further notice. Where are you? I didn't 
didn't know who else to reach out to. Look, I tried to do something right and now it's just all gone to hell. Well, it's so easy for you to say. Really? Thank you. I gotta go. Sign of her? No, I just got here. What about coming up Franklin? No, nothing. Shit, the museum, there's a festival. She'll try and lose us in the crowd. Should we call an NYPD so we have more bodies on hand so we're not running ourselves ragged? No. Once they get wind of a terror threat, they'll come in guns blazing. We'll never get to ID who she's meeting. Assuming we find her. We'll find her. She's scared. She's in over her head. She'll call the people who put her up to this. What are you thinking? About what? About who we're dealing with. That's a pretty narrow subset of groups. The U.S. has many enemies. Not many willing to wage war against a superpower. Iran, North Korea. They'd use their own people. They'd never farm it out to freelancers. Which leaves? Domestic threats, anti-nuclear protesters, freedom of information kooks, hackers for hire, soldiers of fortune. Slag at the bottom of the terror barrel. What's the plan of attack? Go to the museum control room. See what you can find on the monitors. I'll flush her out. Yes? You were told to stay on the train. Hey, you're not the one sticking their neck out. They pulled the power and the whole train stopped. Follow orders from now on or you will be shot. Do you understand? They're coming for you from the east. Take your jacket off. Leave it on the floor. Can we zoom in right here? Hey Corbin, can you hear me? All right, we got eyes on the crowd. Yeah, copy. Okay, we got eyes on the crowd. She must have changed clothes. It's very sophisticated. You think she has the trade craft for that? No, but someone must be helping her. She never would have got this far. She could have gone further down Eastern Parkway. She's here somewhere. She's gonna make a mistake. Move two steps to your left. Do you see the poster on the wall? You're gonna walk straight towards it. Do not move out of the line. I still can't see her. Wait. What is it? Black jacket in the forecourt. Go. Where'd you get that jacket? I found it, it's mine. She has help. Someone who knows where the cameras are. Someone up high.
walk under the stairs and stop on the third pillar. Can't see. Shit, shit. I have to move. Stay where you are, you're safe there. So just don't talk, just move. Why? Why? God damn it, because people are watching. All right, we got her. She's lost the jacket. She's heading east towards the gardens now, accompanied by a brown-skinned male, late 20s. Hey, hey, hey. Is this our contact? Could be. Doesn't look it, though. But we should grab them, right? No, not yet. I mean, he's the next link in the chain, right? Not necessarily. Who else would she be meeting? Someone she'd call when she's in trouble. Damsel in distress. So he's just some civilian in the middle of this? His body language. He's totally focused on her. I don't think he knows what's going on. Let's hang back. It's gonna be packed. Surveillance is gonna be a nightmare. We'll have more cover. And if there's a shootout, lots of bystanders? We will come to that. I hate crowds. Why? Rallies were always a nightmare for the Secret Service. All those possible threats, no mobility. Dad must be very proud. He's a tough man to please. I need to get a medal. It's not all it's cracked up to be. Mainly politics. Like Clay? I mean, you got a medal and he went to prison. Something like that. Every service needs its heroes. And its villains. What's going on? What? You asked me to come here and get you, and now you get angry. No, 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 I'm not angry, okay? Things just changed. What could have changed since five minutes ago? More than you would think. Come on. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Really? I missed you. I tried to tell you that on the phone. I missed you too. Well, you kind of just sort of disappeared. I mean, I know you said you wanted space, but you know, one day we were happy and the next you were just gone. I, I know. I'm, I thought I met someone special. And what? What do you mean? Are you still with him? He wasn't who I thought he was. You didn't answer my question. Are you still with him? No. It's over. What are your thoughts on the new guy? What are yours? Uh, civilian, like you said. He's doing that dumb walk guys do when they try to look tough. Think that'll hurt or help us? What do you mean? Is he gonna fight to protect her? Are you asking my opinion as an agent? Or a woman, both. Well, he thinks he will, but uh, when it comes down to it, it, depends on how much he loves her and how much he has to lose. Fault or encourage those who know they're too pretty to go to prison. <laughs> Something like that. You're young to be so cynical. You're old to be so romantic. I like to think I'm a realist. Great. Because as this kids say, this shit just got real. What, am I supposed to just drop everything and take you back after what you did? 
I'm not asking you to forgive me, but just give me a chance. A chance to what? A chance to make things right. Things can't be like they were before. I don't even know if I can trust you again. It's okay. You know. Hey, hey, follow what? me. Wait, what? What's going on? These people are following me. Who? Is it him? Is he here? Just come on. I'm not, I'm not gonna hide. <sighs> Apparently I am. What is it? Time to make a move. The only other entrance is a municipal parking lot and it's sealed off. Stay back and make sure they don't get past me. I'll wait till they're isolated and move in. Copy that, standing by. Wait, come on. Come on. Cassie, stop. What? Oh, wait, Cohen. Just talk to me. Cassie, talk. Here. What are you? In here. Where are you going? I'm not hiding. Listen, stop. No, Sanchez, you don't understand. What? what you, babe, 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 babe. I can handle this, okay? Oh, Sanchez. <laughs> Stay where you are. What the fuck, man? Get out of the way. Don't make this any harder than it is. What, are you not listening? She's not going with you, man. Get the fuck out of the way. You're one bad decision away from making a very big mistake. Oh, really? Why don't you tell me about it? Give me one good reason. I can give you two. It's a Glock 19. It'll put a hole in your head the size of my fist. Second, is this badge, which gives me full authority of the United States government to do so. You didn't say your, uh, your boyfriend was, was a Fed. It's not a personal matter. She has stolen top secret documents in her possession. Uh, is that true? I had it, but I already gave it to somebody else. Give it up. It's in your bag. No. Are you serious? Just give him the bag. No. You got 10 seconds. Cassie, whoa, whoa, hey. I didn't sign out for this, man. All right, just give him the bag. Wait, give him the bag. No, is this you handling the situation? Handling the situation? You're using me. That's the only reason why you called. Give him the bag. What, you said you would protect me. Protect? You want me to protect you? Yes. What, do you want me to get shot? Is that what you want? One more second and you'll find out. Just fucking give him the bag. No, Come on. no. Sanchez, just, Sanchez, just stop. Fucking bag. Stop, you stop. Go. You go. Lock her to the bus. No. You serious? Do it. This is ridiculous. Do it. What are you doing? This is some sick shit. Sanchez, Sanchez, stop. What are you doing? Come on. Sanchez, it's me. It's Cassie. No. no. Stop. What? Come on. I'm sorry. Sanchez. You're the fuck one that fucking you. told me to use me like you usually do. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Get the fuck away from me. You're useless. Fuck you! Ah! Oh, come on, Sanchez! You've got the drive. Do not engage, repeat, do not engage. Copy that.
You're okay, just breathe. Breathe. You're all right. I'm gonna take this, okay? You made a great team. I have to do this. Sit down. Unless you want to die like your boss. <laughs> you were injected with potassium cyanide. When it reaches your heart, you'll die. I have the antidote. Try not to scream. There's a lot more going on here than meets the eye. You think? Be quiet and listen, or you'll give yourself a stroke. We've been monitoring Brooklyn Tide for some time now because we thought they turned someone inside the FBI. Now we know. How they knew to... Be quiet. Just be quiet. Agent Vera showed her colors, and now the drive is gone. Again. It's a crime for me to even tell you this, but... The drive contains a virus that can destroy a nuclear facility. We developed it to destroy the Iranian nuclear program, but it can penetrate and destroy any military or civilian reactor in the world. Brooklyn Tide has grown increasingly radical over the last two years. There was a large influx of money and a change in leadership. And the money is coming directly from the cartels. Mexico. Specifically the Gulf Cartel. For the past few years, the Gulf Cartel has been beaten up badly by their West Coast rivals. The San Onofre reactor in California sits directly on the border. If there was an incident, we'd... We'd have to evacuate San Diego and close the border. The Western cartel would lose its pipeline for weeks, maybe months. Who would make a play like that? Someone familiar with our organizations, someone who understands reactors, someone who wants revenge, even at the risk of millions of lives. He's here. We have the park locked down as best we can. NYPD is taking up positions, but by tomorrow, this thing could be tumbling down. I know where she is. I can get it back. Agent Colvin, make sure you do. This could be our last chance.
Well, this is a nice surprise. It's a surprise. I don't know that I'd call it nice. But you're alive. That was a condition. Deal breaker. Generous to the last. Where are you? Still on the street? Waiting in an ambulance. No hard feelings, right? Of course not. Better man won. You look nice in a dress. How are you? No need for that. Not here. How are you? Still walking? Maybe our mutual friend isn't as clever as he thinks he is. Where'd you meet him? Meet him. Online. He approached you? I used to read his posts on the law enforcement forums we got to chatting. When? Since I was 14. You know, you don't sound so good. It's been a rough day. Feel like you've been hit by a truck? Not physically. When someone you trust... You should ask our friend. He knows all about that. And so will you. What is that supposed to mean? That he's playing you, like everyone else. You're just another pawn to be cast aside when you've played your part. Is this where you try to get inside my head? It took Clay five years. You have 30 seconds. Lying takes time. The truth kicks you right in the teeth. What truth would that be exactly? That what you're doing is wrong, and you know it. Nuclear power is everything that's wrong with this world. Our fear has become a commodity, and those in power profit from it. Your dad tell you that? My father has nothing to do with this. I think he has everything to do with it. He gave 20 years of his life protecting our so-called leaders. A few men in his detail go to a brothel in Colombia where it's illegal, and they throw him under the fucking bus. No pension, stripped of his decorations. He risked his life for them, and they fucking buried him. All right, the system is flawed. So you're gonna attack a nuclear power plant to prove it? No, it's more than that. It's about sending a message. No, that's exactly what it is. You were hurt by the system and you wanna hurt it back, but you'll only be hurting the people who are a part of it. It's not perfect, but the alternative is chaos. What do you know about hurt? I had a friend. I was closer to than my own brother. He saved my life. And I sent him to prison for it. But that's my cross, and I'll carry it. I don't want to make kids sick in California. Who said anything about California? That's what he oh, wants the virus. You're lying. We're going to put it online. We're going to make them decommission the reactors because they're vulnerable. And we're going to show them that they're liars. Where do you think all the money's coming from? They have the funding. resources to pull this off. The cartels gave him $10 million to shut down the rival's pipeline. This isn't about changing anything. Are you it's done? It's about drugs, money, and revenge. Are you done? I think we both are. It's over. No, it's not. Get off me, you freak! Help! Help!
Looking for this? You dropped it in the path. Like you said, it's better this way. Stay away from me! Or what? It's always gonna come to this. Once you start running, it's only a matter of time, Vera. Oh, you know you've lived your whole fucking life by the fucking book. It eats you up inside. Always looking over your shoulder, living in fear. So what are you gonna do? You gonna shoot me? No. You're gonna make a full confession to the FBI. Maybe they'll cut you a deal. You didn't kill anyone. You're a kid. A good kid, in my opinion. This doesn't have to be the end. It's gonna be okay. It will never be okay. No. No. Ah! Clay. Clay. Uh, wait. You know if I pull this knife, she's as good as dead, right? It's not her you want, she's just a kid. With all the times I've been betrayed, you'd think I'd be used to it by now, right? You must be very proud of yourself. You found a child and you made her your puppet. People say there's nothing to do in prison. I think I found something. Trying to burn it all down? You used to be better than that. Some people want to watch this nation burn, Corbin. I could give a goddamn about it anymore. So everyone can just go to hell? Not everyone, Corbin. Just you. Look at the Dominica Bridge. Agent down. Repeat, agent down. Please. Stay with me. Stay with me, Vera. Just breathe. Breathe. Please. Breathe. So much. Give yourself up, Clay. Half the NYPD is closing in on you. Your shoot on sight. <laughs> really? All I see is one broken down FBI agent who's way out of his league. Why do I have to be like this? Like what? Us pointing guns at each other. We we're partners. Saved my life. Yeah, and you sent me to prison. You put yourself in prison when you took that money. I should be thanking you. Prison taught me things. How not to give a fuck about anyone but yourself? It's it's the system, man. You want to be the one to end it. No, this is. Sorry to break it to you, partner, but, but sometimes the bad guy gets away. Is that what you are now? That's who you made me.
You think that was fun for me? Pointing the finger at my best friend and saying, yes, I saw him take that money. You think I enjoyed that? I had to go back to work the next day, a fucking pariah. No one would even look at me. You know what? I didn't blame them. Fuck you, Corbin. No, fuck you, Clay. Put yourself in that cell and you're gonna put yourself in the morgue. I gave everything. We put our lives on the line every day. That's the job. I don't expect a fucking parade and I certainly don't expect anyone to pay for my mistakes. I would have given my life for this fucking country. Right up until it took my soul. You don't have a soul. That's the first true thing you said all day. I'm tired, Clay. Let's call this. Someone's gonna shoot you. Might as well be me. You know, one hell of an overtime claim come for this one, don't you? You okay? No. No, I'm not. Any of that yours? How much of this was set up? We knew Clay was planning something. He had someone on the inside. So what happens now? Well, it's already happened. Clay's dead. Lowell's dead. All in all, a pretty successful day. We might even get another medal. Keep it. What about the cartels? The Mexican government isn't going to get involved? Well, they'd be informed, of course, but... What are they going to do? Declare war on the cartels again? So you can threaten a nuclear power station, target our operatives, and just walk away? No one walks away, Corbin, you know that. This is as much an information war as it is about dead bodies. We should make more statues of Grant. He's on the 50. Our greatest military leader and our worst president. Perfect symbol of America. 
Screw if you can have all the power in the world and have no fucking clue what to do with it. You're getting political on me? It's doing my job. Why don't you hold on to it? It's probably safe with you anyway. I think you proved that. It's on it. What everyone thought was on it. A couple of small changes. But it had to be real enough for you to be open. Hey, don't lose it. We can only play this game when we still have secrets. Don't think about it too much. You get some sleep. Thank you.